guys just one quick thing before this food review starts i just want to say i may or may not have a new different kind of thing going on with my hair um, i may or may not talk about it in like a different video i don't know if you guys care about that kind of stuff i'm not really like a hair beauty whatever kind of channel but i don't know if you guys are interested i'll probably do it but you know just one quick little thing before this other video starts so that's enough rambling and this one with a um, photo view. Bye guys. Hey guys, so we're back with another taste test video this time. It's a regular one. No insects. Promise, at least not yet. We're doing an unsweetened green tea. That's Japan's number one green tea, apparently. And uh, usually unsweetened isn't really my thing since like in our brains like hard words like sugary things but we're gonna give this one a try because it's best if it's served chilled so just came out of the fridge I'm gonna try it definitely smells like green tea but we'll see how it tastes how unsweetened it really is Oh yeah, it's unsweetened, all right. Like I said, it's like in our brains, like hardwired, not hardwired, but it's like sweets this, sweets that. But you know, I mean, one unsweetened thing won't kill you. I can't really say much. It's just like purified water to green tea and azorbic acid, which I think gives it that bitter taste. And it's bitter. Like, there's no joke. It's bitter. But, I mean, it's it's not bad. Like, I don't hate it. I do like green tea. I've always sweetened it with, like, um, honey. Like, raw and uncultured honey. I'm not gonna add it to this, because that would just ruin the review. review. But, I don't hate it. I mean, it, it, it's an acquired taste, maybe, but I'm not going to dump it down the sink. I'm going to finish this, this not in this video. Whatever I do, try. I eat it. I still have some, like, mealworms and crickets left over. I'm still munching on those. Just not showing it to you guys. It, I mean, if you guys want to try it, you can. It has like a nice little haiku on the back. Midnight basketball, the clang of the netless rim under the crescent moon. Okay, it's a nice little haiku. I'm not going to show you it. It's here. I kind of like it. It's brewed from premium whole tea leaves and not tea concentrated powders. No sugar, sweeteners, and no added colors or flavoring. It's like the color. It's green. It's green tea. Not much else to say about it. You know, don't microwave it. It's not microwavable. It's best to serve chilled. Nice cold. Out of the fridge. And no, you can't have this. It's not for you. I swear, every time I do like a review for like food or something, my dog always wants to eat it. Like, no, you can't have this. This is for me, not you. But, you know, I'm already like three minutes into the video, like three minutes, 30 seconds, and uh, I'm just rambling, but yeah, this unsweetened green tea, if you're curious about it, there you go, in case y'all want to try it for yourselves, I can't say for sure where to buy it, I got mine this front and final, they may have it there, they may have it like at a different grocery store, or like a, I don't want to say a liquor store, because most of you guys probably aren't even over 21, but maybe like, I don't know, Kroger's, Myers, whatever stores you guys have. Look around, try something new, you know. Can't hurt to try it. So I'm going to end this video because I'm almost like four minutes long. I said like it was like four minutes long. So I'll see you guys in like the next video, whatever that may be. So I'll always try something new. It won't hurt you. I promise. You may not like it, but you can say you tried it, right? 
Oh, stay where you guys.